Breaking news. Two kids killed in an apartment fire. Really big flames and there's um, smoke behind it. And so I saw the whole bunch of flames just kind of like pushing up in the air. A North Sound community shaken. Oh, this is so sad. Tonight, how people outside rushed into action to try to help. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lindsay Sheldon. The two alarm fire was reported this afternoon around 2.40 p.m. at an apartment complex on 196th Street Southwest near 68th Avenue in Linwood. That's where Kyra 7's Michael Spears is joining us live now. And Michael, just a heartbreaking situation there. We heard the cries. We saw the tears, Lindsay, as firefighters worked to get this fire out of under control. I'm going to show you the scene. This is 196th Street. Very, very active scene. You can see it's still shut down. Four hours after this fire was reported, this is at 68th Avenue. Firefighters say two children never made it out of the apartment. I'm going to walk you over to my right to show you a little bit of the damage there. Never made it out alive, found dead inside, but a third child did manage to escape and is expected to be okay. Witnesses said people did all they could. There was cars stopped in the street trying to run over, trying to help. Trying desperately to reach children trapped inside this burning apartment. Went to the back alley trying to throw rocks into the window to get, get them out. But in the end, firefighters say two kids never made it out of here alive. All we could think about was those poor children in there. Firefighters say they arrived to flames around 2.40 Sunday afternoon here at the Linwood Townhouse Apartments. So I saw the whole bunch of flames just kind of like pushing up in the air. A third child, around 11 years old, managed to escape and was taken to the hospital, according to firefighters, who said they had to be treated for smoke inhalation, but is expected to be okay. This man lives next door and didn't even have time to grab his shoes. Smashing glass and windows, or at least that's what come out to find. Just want to be sick to my stomach. I feel like I want to throw up. This mother said she and her daughter struggled to make sense of the tragedy unfolding before their eyes. She immediately panicked because she was pretty sure that the window we seen that was engulfed in flames was her friend's unit that she goes to school with. Now, firefighters have not yet released the ages of the children who died and said the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Police did confirm, though, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, known as ATF agents, they're here to help with this investigation. At least two other units, according to firefighters, were damaged. We do know the Red Cross did come in helping with those families who are displaced. We're going to step away, check in with fire investigators. We do expect an update tonight at Cairo 7 News at 11. For now, we're live in Linwood. I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News. Thank